All right, so we built a pattern. We put a curve in it. Um, you can really, when it comes to laminating, you can produce any type of curve you want. Um, but we have the pattern we established. We're going to give that a shot, see how that works. Um, so we need to transfer that somehow to our mold. So we need to replicate that pattern. Now you can do that out of a 2x6 or a 2x8. Uh, the problem is lumber is dimensionally really, I mean it's warped, it's bad from lumber yards. So I try to avoid it. I like using plywood for a mold. In the bowl business we use CNC machined aluminum molds. So, uh, But you can definitely use plywood. I've used them for bowls and it works phenomenal. So. Uh, our mold is going to be about two inches wide, so I cut a bunch of strips that are laying next to here, okay? They're all the same size. We're going to hold the pattern up, okay? We're going to square that up. We're going to draw a line, okay? We're going to take some of this, that, that, that extra that we drew, we're going to whack it off with the bandsaw. And you can see here, you know, I just kind of real quick, because I'm going to take this on a router table. If you don't have a router table, that's fine. There's other ways to do it, okay? I just, I want to be able to produce a number of springs. And uh, for me, I'd rather just build a nice mold and have it really quality, something I can reuse over and over. So that's the route I'm taking, okay? But once I have this kind of rough cut, this is going to sit on top. Now, what helps us later, we're going to, we're going to have to align all these pieces up. So I basically took a square... Okay, and I made an index mark here and here. So when I go to align all these pieces up, I can align those marks. Okay, and you know, you want to make sure that the spring, when, when we do all these layups with laminations, and if the mold pieces are shifted, it's not going to want to glue. Remember, if you see glue in a joint, it's, it's bad. Glue is not strong. And it, it's only strong when, you know, when it's thin. Glue itself, or adhesive or epoxy, is not strong. So we want to see no glue joint. We just want to see like a thin black line, very, very thin. So we want to make sure that these pieces really line up well. So I'm going to take this pattern, my bearings on the bottom, so I'm going to put this on the bottom. I'm going to line up one edge, okay? Set this down. I'm going to grab some trim nails, and I'm just going to hold this. And what that's going to do is just kind of pin it so when I bring it over to the router table, I'm good to go. Okay. So this pattern is going to get routed right out. It's going to ride along that bearing. It's going to, I'm just going to start uh, going through pieces. i got a whole stack to do. Okay, but I'm only working on the, the lower portion of the mold. The upper is a whole different ball game. We're going to get into that after. So I'm going to take this to the router table and see what we can't do.